Alright guys, this is Dean from theabscoach.com and this video demonstration what I'm going to discuss and look at is ab rollouts. Alright, so we're going to use the stability ball to start off and then we're going to look at using ab wheel, single ab wheel and duo ab wheels. I'm going to show you how I quickly made these as well. Alright, so the key with these exercises guys is to work within a range that's acceptable for where you're currently at. Alright, you don't want to overextend or over roll out beyond what you're capable of at this point in time. You also want to be very careful looking at your lumbar position, position your hips. You don't want your hips sagging. You don't want to over arch that low back. You need to be cautious and protect this area. Alright, so what I'm going to look at is the ab roll out using the stability ball. So I'm going to get my position. Ball out about a foot and a half away from my thighs. I'm going to make fists with my hands, place them on the ball. As you can see here, I have a slight little hinge at the hips. So from this position here, I'm going to roll out until I make full elbow contact with the ball. And when I'm in that position, you see that, should see that my lower arm or my forearm is kind of horizontal with the surface of the ground. So from this position here, I'm going to roll out, full elbow contact hold, and pull back. Roll out, full elbow contact hold. Just do three more. So rolling out, full elbow contact, pull back. Two more. All the way out, full elbow contact, hold, and pull back. Pull back. All right. So I'm only pulling back to that start position. I don't want to pull back too tight in against the body. All right. So again, you should have seen nice neutral head alignment throughout the motion and seeing that hinged hip position at the start, rolling out till the forearm is level with the floor and then pull back, all right? So that's using the stability ball. Next then, I'm going to use the ab wheel, single ab wheel and perform a rollouts. All the same principles apply here, folks. So assume the start position. Hands down slightly ahead of the shoulders, roll out and pull back. So roll out, hold and pull back. When you pull back, your arm should stay straight. You shouldn't have any flexion or elbow bending going on, guys. All right, so I'll just demonstrate one or two more. So again, my hips will be slightly ahead of my knees, my hands slightly ahead of my shoulders. I focus down, roll out, pull back, roll out, and pull back. Alright, so that's the single ab wheel. Then basically what I have here is two duo ab wheels. And I made the two of these out of two of these. So I had three single wheels. What I did was just dismantle it like so. The little uh, handle covers, I basically cut a piece off each end. Then the two centre pieces that I was left with, slid them down the middle of this centre bar. Basically, attached my two wheels. The excess of the handle that was in here, duct taped around that. And then just put the two little clip ends on each side here, and then I have my two wheels ready to rock and roll. So again, that's my single one. And then the duo ones just means you have one for each hand. So you can control the direction, you can roll out straight ahead, slightly and off at an angle, like a Y position, or you can actually even do like a chest fly motion. So here, again, same position, getting my hips slightly ahead of my knee, my hands slightly ahead of my shoulders, I focus down, roll out and pull back. Roll out, hold it and pull back. Alright, so duo ab wheels. Again, like I said, you can get into a lot of other exercises with these. So what I could also be doing with these is like a single arm push up, roll out. So. Come here, 
One hand on the ab rail, one hand in push-up position. And again, I can push off at an angle. And we go totally out to the side. Alright, so again, the three of these cost me, I think they were about seven euro each, about ten bucks. So about thirty bucks to have a single ab wheel and two duo ab wheels. Alright, so what I'll look at now is modifying the ab wheel rollout slightly. What you do is take a step, take one end off, so you have a little bit of an elevation but also a ramp like surface. Take your ab wheel, assume your position here. So Almost like a straight line here. It's okay if the hips are slightly ahead of the knee. Again here, hands ahead of the shoulders. Come back a little bit. There we go. Eyes focus down. Roll out and up the ramp and pull back. Roll out and pull back. And pull back. Now with this, I wouldn't want to start too far up the ramp. If I roll right up, I'll probably tip this up. Alright, so I want to make sure I'm starting pretty much on the edge and rolling up just past the actual step rebox line in the middle of this. Alright, so start from the edge and work your way about three quarters of the way up the step. So that's one way we can do a modified rollout with the arm wheel. bands for assistance and what we want to do is have an attachment point to secure the bands to. Now within camera range here I don't really have anything secure to attach the bands to. In a gym setting I would have. So what I'll do here is simply use this 12 kilo kettlebell, attach the bands to it. them off. Pull this back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cup the dumbbell with my feet. I'm going to attach one of each band to each side of the handle. So secure the kettlebell and then from here roll out and roll back. Roll out and roll back. Roll out, hold and come back. Alright, so there, just a few examples, guys, of performing, performing ab rollouts using the stability ball to start because you have a slightly higher surface to roll out from and then getting more down onto the ground using the, the ab wheel and the duo ab wheels. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video demonstration. Hope you found it useful.